Hexidine glutinate, or CHG, is a product that reduces germs on your skin for up to 24 hours. A CHG treatment is part of your care plan and will help prevent infection from harmful bacteria. This video will show you some of the do's and don'ts for using CHG wipes. Hey, Mr. Jones, how are you today? I'm okay. I'm tired. Okay, well, you had quite a busy morning, so I can understand that. But you're doing great. And this here is Jo. She's studying to be a nurse. So she's going to be helping you out today. Hi, Jo. What's up, Mr. Jones? So, Mr. Jones, you've already had a shower, right? Mm hmm Okay, so he's had a shower. He has a clean gown and clean sheets. And you know that some of our patients already know how to do a self-treatment, but sometimes they need help, and we're here to make sure they know how to do it correctly. Okay. So it's time for you to get your CHG treatment. Okay, what's that? Well, that's a good question. It means we're gonna clean your skin with these CHG wipes because the body has a lot of germs, some good, some not so much. And the not so much ones can cause infection and we don't want that. Definitely not. Okay, you have any other questions before we get started? No, let's do it. All right. Awesome, well thank you Mr. Jones. And this won't take more than about 10 minutes, okay? Okay. So before we begin, I'm gonna have you clean your hands first. Okay. All right, here you are. And don't worry, gloves aren't necessary for you. Perfect, thank you. So we're gonna be using these CHG wipes as well as the bathing wipes, okay? And we're gonna be using the bathing wipes on your face if you need because the CHG should not be getting into your eyes or your ears. Okay. All right, do you have any questions about that? No. No, okay, perfect. We're gonna be cleaning six zones, okay? So zone one is going to be your neck, your chest, your abdomen, and your groin. Zones two and three are gonna be your right and left arm. Zones four and five are gonna be your right and left leg. And then zone six is gonna be your entire back. Okay. Alrighty, and so let's go ahead and get started. Um, but before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and take off your gown. Is that okay? Sure. Awesome, so lean up for me. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna have you Take your arms out and we're gonna be very careful about your central line and your IV. Great job. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck this down here. How is that? That's fine. That's okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. And so again, we're always gonna start by cleaning zone one first, okay? And that's gonna be your neck, your chest, your abdomen, and your groin, all right? We're gonna start from the top and work our way down. Okay, so we're always gonna use a new wipe for each zone, and we're gonna go ahead and start with zone one, the neck. And we wanna make sure to pay special attention to the neck because a lot of bacteria can stay there. We wanna make sure to get in between the folds and the creases, being very thorough. And remember, we're gonna be working our way down. So we're gonna go ahead and move towards the chest, and we wanna be very careful to get around the dressing. Okay and to make sure that we're leaving the tubes in the impregnated caps alone, okay? okay? And you wanna make sure that it stays wet on contact after you apply. Yes, you wanna give it a minute of drying time, okay? So don't wipe it off and don't rinse it off. And if it's not wet on contact, you wanna go ahead and get another wipe, okay? Oh yeah? Yeah. I think I may need another one here though. Okay, no worries, I'll take that and you can take this. Perfect. And can I clean my privates with this too? Yes, please. It's completely safe and it doesn't stink, okay? So no worries there. Okay. You're doing great. Again, be very mindful of your IV right here in your arm. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab you another pack. Remember, we wanna use a brand new wipe for every new zone, okay? So, okay. so what's next? Uh, arms? Correct, so we're doing zones two and three, the arms. Here you are. So you're gonna start up here and work your way down, making sure to get all around and behind. You wanna make sure to get your elbow and inside those creases. And then you're gonna go all the way down to the end of your fingertips, get in that webbing. You wanna make sure you're getting anywhere that bacteria can hide. And lastly, you're gonna finish with your armpit, okay? okay. So you're gonna wanna wipe all of those creases. As always, we're gonna go ahead and get another wipe for the next arm, so your other zone. Okay, and what do I do about this? So with your lines, like your central line and your IV line, you wanna leave that for the nurses to do? And again, 
as always, starting at the top, working our way down, you're doing great, getting the full perimeter of your arm, getting any creases, being careful to get around your IV, but all the way down into the webbing near your hands. Perfect, all around there in those creases. And lastly, the armpits, you're doing it. You're doing a great job, Mr. Jones. Okay, now we're gonna go on to zones four and five, but first we're gonna go ahead and change your gown, okay? Alrighty, so go ahead and um, sit up for me, please. And we're gonna go ahead and slip this right on over. All right, so I'll take those arms right through here. There you go, one arm, two. Perfect, and you wanna be very careful about your central line, okay? And your IV, so just be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that for you, so don't even worry about it. Again, we wanna make sure that these alcohol impregnated caps stay on okay. and we don't touch the dressing. You did a great job when wiping around that area. I'm really proud of you. You're a natural. <laughs> okay, all right, and you can go ahead and lay back. I'm gonna go ahead and remove your other gown. Okay. Here you go, Nurse Barbara. Thank you so much. Okay, next we're gonna do zones four and five, okay? So that's gonna be your right and left leg. So get as high as you can, getting around that thigh, pretty close to your groin area, and then we're gonna work our way down towards the knee, making sure to get behind the knee and in front of the knee. And then going down to getting our calf, making sure we're getting the full area surrounding it. And then we're gonna also get our toes, okay? We're gonna get our full foot, so get in between those toes, but also make sure that you're getting the full bottoms and the soles of your feet. That's right. Perfect. And then remember, we're gonna use a new wipe for each new zone, so I'll take that great job, and you're gonna do your other leg with a new wipe. Perfect. You're doing great. We wanna make sure to always get the back as well. Great, and then don't forget that other toe. Lovely. Awesome, how are you feeling? Uh, good. How do I clean my back? So actually, we'll help you, okay? Anytime that you need help, please just call for us, all right? Okay. Sometimes I know it can be a bit tricky. Making sure to get by the neck, making sure we didn't miss any spots so you know that bacteria can live here. I'm working my way down the back, down the shoulders. Wanna make sure I get this side. Getting down into the middle, making sure to always move towards the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna do your buttocks, so heads up. All right, okay, perfect. All righty, Mr. Jones, you can go ahead and flip back on your back now. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and clean the tubes and the lumens, okay? So we wanna make sure. First, hand hygiene. First, hand hygiene. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves. And this is so that we don't cross-contaminate. We wanna make sure that we're being very careful with the bacteria. I'm going to start near the incision, top, where the insertion is, and I'm going to clean each individual tube, okay? So, I'm going to start here and work my way down, making sure to get the entire thing And if you did have a catheter, that's something that we would also take care of as well. But since you don't, you were able to take care of that groin area yourself. But I think we're all good here. How do you feel? I feel great. Okay, well that completes your CHG treatment for today. And you can get some rest. Well, thank you, Joe. You're welcome. And thank you, Barbara. Absolutely. And if you need anything, please feel free to call us, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. Great job today. Thank you. Do you have any questions? No, I've got it. Yes, you do. <laughs>